I am Maria Garcia de Florin. The Virgin Mary appeared on November 27, 1830, to Sister Catherine Laboré in Paris. Our Lady was standing about the world with her feet crushing the head of a snake, with a globe in her hands. Her eyes were raised to heaven, and her face was radiant as she offered the globe to our Lord. Then Catherine saw that Mary had precious stones rings on her fingers. Rays of light shone from the stones that enveloped Mary in a light so dazzling that she could not see either her feet nor her cloak. With indescribable beauty and magnificence of rays of during this apparition, Mary told her that the rays symbolize the graces that she grants to everyone who asks for them. The stones that do not shed light represent the graces that people forget to ask for. Then an oval appeared around our Blessed Mother with the following words, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who turn to you. Then Catherine heard the following words, Get a medal according to this model. Those who wear it when blessed will receive great graces, especially if they wear it around their neck. Graces will be abundant for those who have confidence. Then the image turned and Catherine saw the letter M crossed at the top by a cross and a bar. Below were the hearts of Jesus and Mary with 12 stars surrounding the entire image. Friends. What makes this medal so powerful? The power of the miraculous medal is not based on the material it is made of. The source of the medal's power is heavenly. It is the promise made by our Blessed Mother that has the blessing and approval of the Church. The miraculous medal is a heavenly gift from Mary to us. It is the medal of all because she is the mother of all. Furthermore, she wants us to wear it with love and trust, not superstitiously as a lucky charm. She wants us to imitate her virtues, deepen our faith, and see beyond our own needs, help the poor, the forgotten, the lonely. It is reminded that Our Lady is always re ready to listen, to ease our suffering, to comfort us when we cry, to heal our souls and our bodies, and to rescue us in times of trial. She wants to be our companion, our friend, and our guide. However, all these things require reciprocity on our part. The miraculous medal is a heavenly gift from Mary to us. It is the medal of all because she is the mother of all. Furthermore, she wants us to wear it with love and trust. She wants us to imitate his, her virtues, deepen our faith, and see beyond our own needs and help the poor, the forgotten, the lonely. And it is a reminder of her powerful intercession. Mary is neither divine nor omnipotent. She is not the author of grace, but she dispenses God's grace. And at the same time, her immaculate soul makes her exceptionally powerful before God, because God sees power differently than we do. For God, power is measured by the amount of grace in the soul. We know that Mary, while on earth, was full of grace. So her power with God is substantially even to this day, because she is the mother of God and friends with God, we always win.